We make it easy to style now and pay later on the top quality furniture you need now. This luxurious upholster bed is just $1,188. That's a suggested payment of just $99 a month with our 12-month no interest financing. And this Ashley bed with built-in storage is a great value for just $8.24. For top quality furniture at everyday low prices, shop Mathis Home. Got ants inside your home? I don't have them inside my home, and you shouldn't either. We spray your property perimeter, plants, shrubs, and around your window and door casings. With this same-day service, we also control spiders. Call us. We'll come right now. Car keys! Are you on your way? Yep, coming. And Mom and Dad? Don't worry. They'll be there. <laughs> Happy anniversary. <laughs> Go beyond the expected with the number one most dependable mass market brand three years in a row by J.D. Power. Lease the new 2023 EV6 Wind for $3.99 a month. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. We are following some breaking news on our nation's capital. That's where California's senior U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein died last night. We will have more on her trailblazing career in public service from California to Washington, D.C. I'm Trevor Shirley, live in Washington. We're getting reaction from congressional lawmakers on the passing of Senator Feinstein. We're also taking a look at the impact her death is going to leave not only on Democrats' agenda in the Senate, but the president's as well. I've got that story coming up just ahead. I'm Eric Spillman in Anaheim. The California Republican Party is holding its convention here today, tomorrow, and Sunday. And the keynote speaker is former President Trump. That story coming up. Good Friday morning. I'm Jessica Holmes. A $2.3 billion concert venue opens today in Las Vegas. The headliner, U2 tell you all about the spear coming up. And good morning, everyone. I'm Jeremy Parsons in for Sam Rubin this morning. It's New Music Friday. We hear from NSYNC, one of the BTS guys, and U2, plus Matthew Lillard live in studio with a brand new business venture you're going to want to hear about. That is all coming up in your entertainment report. All right, good morning, everybody. A little bit on the overcast side today. Some drizzle and maybe even some light sprinkles happening here or there. But the bigger rain possibly heading into tomorrow and then also into Sunday. Tomorrow seems to be the day where we have the greatest potential of getting some rain. Temperatures well below normal. And while we're talking about a little bit of rain and just a sprinkle here and there, New York is getting hammered today. Uh, they've got some wild storms out there. Coastal up to 70 degrees. Downtown today, 73, 78 in the San Fernando Valley. High desert, 84. Inland Empire up to 80. Orange County Inland up to 74 degrees. Ginger with traffic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, look, if you get a little bit of a light rain or whatever's the case, that will slow down your ride for sure, as it should. Now, well, the signaler that continues, I and mean, we're talking about this big rig, a trailer, ended up flipping last night before midnight, and it's still with us. But at least we don't see as much in terms of those delays, and maybe because it's the five southbound side of Rye Canyon Road with just one right lane that is now closed earlier. It had been several lanes. The offer may still be blocked as well. This is an unusual stretch to have too much of a delay here, but we want to mention because this 241 southbound side at the 261 is a car that lost control, rolled over, careened down the embankment. In fact, it's the site of some construction that takes place in the overnight hours. And then right at that 133 split, that's where we're getting reports that there are um, reports of rock, gravel, debris that's in lanes that could be dangerous, but you also get a great look at how that five freeway is like. That is really busy uh, for that stretch of the five freeway because sometimes those delays dissipate. As you cross that uh, 55, it looks like it continues to be slow, may improve once you get closer to the El Toro Y. We're going to watch these things for everybody. I think all eyes will be on Orange County for so many different reasons. I'll send it back to you guys. And we begin with the breaking news this morning that an icon of both national and California politics, Senator Dianne Feinstein, has died at the age of 90. She represented our state on Capitol Hill for three decades. KTLA's Alina Bovian, live in the newsroom with a closer look at her life and legacy. Alina, good morning. 
Frank, good morning. Well, aside from being a Democratic powerhouse, Dianne Feinstein led with grace and with strength. She broke barriers and was relentlessly committed to her job. That's exactly what we're hearing this morning from some of the people who knew her best, her colleagues at the Capitol. Take a look. These are live images coming this morning from the Senate floor. Speaking and.